Hi, this is Shelley Rogers, the Senior Cataloger at UWG. I am going to show you how to use our online databases to research your art topic. A database contains the scanned articles from hundreds or thousands of scholarly journals, newspapers, etc., all in one source. Always start at the library's homepage at westga.edu slash library. From this homepage, click on the Databases and Galileo tab, then the Subject or A to Z listing link. This takes you to the Databases homepage. Under the red A tab, click on Academic Search Complete. This database, published by EBSCO, is a great general resource for most of your research needs because it is the best all-around database in the world. I recommend that you start with this one and then try art-specific databases. I will demonstrate a wildcard search. This search technique broadens the results using truncation through the use of an asterisk. By entering paint asterisk, the computer will retrieve paint, paints, painting, and paintings. If you get too few results for a search term you have entered, think about whether truncation might help you. The technique of phrasing, on the other hand, can make your search more precise. Instead of entering just American Gothic in the search box, I will put quotation marks around it. So the computer will look for that exact phrase rather than the words American and Gothic separately. 392 results. Now see what happens when I add a Boolean operator of AND for American Gothic in quotation marks and Grant Wood as a subject. This narrows the results nicely to 81. You can use the facets on the left side of the screen to further limit your results. When you click on a resource, notice the buttons on the right side of the screen. Always send yourself an email of any article you might use for your research paper and select the reference citation style that you need in addition to your email address. So it sends both to you. It is a good idea to double check the citation as it is computer generated, but it is still good help. It is much easier later to delete an email after your paper has been graded than to try to remember exactly what the article's title was or to replicate your search strategy in order to find it again. Our database subscriptions do not always allow the full title or, or the full text of the article to be available to you. Sometimes it is just a citation to an article. Do not immediately give up if you see a reference to an article that looks interesting. Click on the Find It at UWG button so the computer will look in other databases to try to find the article. If you cannot find something you need, please contact our resource sharing folks. From the library's homepage, click on Services in the gray bar, then Resource Sharing.